All right, adventurers. Today we're working on the Crown Vic again and the endless quest for content. So as you can see, it's tucked real nice up into the yard. But uh, the problem going on with this thing is if you can see that that temp gauge is halfway and I probably haven't turned the key in this thing and Oh God, a month or more. So, and before I parked it right here, I took it out to my friend's shop out in Pueblo West and they, you know, hooked it up to their fancy scanner and made sure that the, the temperature sensor was working, everything was still good. And, you know, we confirmed that it was definitely just the gauge. So now it's up to me to pull all that apart and, uh, send that the dash cluster in to be refurbished so i'm gonna do that before i did that i went down to the harbor freights and i bought me a nylon pry bar installer kit because you got to get in here and pry some stuff oh and there's some seven mil little guys there's one here one here you got to pull then first thing i'm going to do i think is pull this plate off and then I believe this plate comes off and then there's some seven mils under here that you got to take out and then I think this whole unit lifts out and then you got to do some stuff I think you got to unhook the the shift indicator but I'm gonna get some of that done and be back with y'all and if I run into anything along the way I'll let you know the tips and tricks that I figure out okay so I took my little trim tool guy here and I just kind of got in and worked it out worked it out you can see the little clips here and down there and here and here and then on this one I started probably like up here but you should probably really come in and get this part down here out first because if you pull this part off this starts to bind up and you got to kind of really wedge it in there. So I'd say pop this little piece out first and then pop this big top piece out. And then that exposes all the little seven mil uh, connectors back here that allows you to take this piece off to access back behind that. Um, and then I came across something kind of interesting that I'm not a wiring guy, but I know this is made to go to that and that is a switch and oh god my curiosity's running wild i want to plug it in and i want to see what the hell that switch does but then another part of me is also scared because i'm not a wiring guy like i said and if it fries something then i'll have to call my friend johnny and he's he's gonna make fun of me so uh I mean, I'll, we'll get it fixed, but he's going to make fun of me. So let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do with that and what you think it goes to. I want to know. Um, but I got to take these seven mils out. Oh, and I still got to do these two seven mils under here. But I'm going to take those out and get some more progress done. Be right back. So I got all the seven mil little screws out. And... If you look here, there's still some little tabs you got to pull on to get this out. But it's mostly free. If you come on this side, you've got a couple of switches here that for this one, you just press press there on that little tab and that comes right out. And this one, or sorry, and this one, you got to kind of come in the back side and that little piece of the tab presses and that section just slides right out so now there's something still holding it up i'm really hoping i don't have to take this piece off but i think i might just to give me some room but i'm gonna figure that out and get this piece out and be right back okay so the trick to getting this piece out here that is not covered in the other gentleman's video that i watched 
you got to put your dang shift lever down. Don't forget to do that. And then it's not going to come out the top. It's going to slide out the side. So you just slide that piece right on out the side there. And hey, bada bing. You start getting in at all that, which is what I'm going to do. So I think I might have to come up here and take that little guy out. Yeah, I think there's, I think I can see some clips or something. And then I might have to unhook a shift indicator, but we'll see. But I'm going to need two hands for that, so give me just a sec. All right, so two seven mils, two seven mils on the other side. And then there's a connector up top where you can see, gotta push down on the little clip here. I'm gonna do this with two hands, but you gotta push down and this little gray bar comes off of the, or it, it moves over this way and the whole connector will come up out of there and this will and this whole unit will start to move out um and then the easiest way i've heard to disconnect your shifter cable that we're going to get to in just a minute is you take a curved pick and you take the lens off the front of this and then the shifter cable just disconnects or the shift indicator cable just disconnects and your whole unit comes back out so I'm going to see if I can't get that far before we come back again, and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so once you get those 7 millimeter screws out, ooh, light. Aziz, light! <laughs> oh, sorry, I have too much fun with myself. Anyways, once you get those 7 mil screws on either side, you get that connector get closer in on that and on that connector you you get one hand in there you press in on the middle of it and then with your other finger you just lift that gray bar right over and it, it's easy as pie once you lift that gray bar over the whole thing the whole unit just kind of lifts out of the top now what i'm doing is i'm taking this curved pick and you have to get to these uh spots here on the sides and on the top and work this lens off of here and once you do that you get to your shift indicator and according to another fellow on youtube you should just be able to click that shift indicator thing out and the rest of it should come out so i'm gonna use my second hand again lord i swear to god one day i'm gonna get like a tripod or some sort of filming aid to help me so you guys can see this stuff but hopefully everybody at least partially enjoys this. So while I'm remembering, subscribe if you're still watching, please. It really helps the channel. So I'll be I'll be back once I get that done. Okay, got it all off. Now don't do what I did and take the clear plastic piece off too. Well, first and then the black plastic piece. If you look, there's clips up here and here. And on the side there, don't take them off. You're going to do it. I didn't break one like an idiot. Oh, God, these dogs in this neighborhood. Anywho. No, there's actually one, two, three clips on top. One, two, three clips on bottom. Get your hook pick in there. Take that on out. And then you're going to come in here. And I believe it's this right here and this right here. Let's see if I can just do this one-handed right now. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I think I just did it one-handed right on camera. I did. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it live. Here we go. All right. Clusters out. We did it live. You've seen it on camera, folks. So now I'm going to take this whole unit here, and I'm going to send it into a refurbishment service, and I think they're going to charge me about 100 bucks, and I'm going to get a brand new refurbished cluster god i hate these animals not that i hate animals my mother's dogs are just annoying but never mind don't let me get on that tangent so and the services that you send these into you can actually get like 
LED lights put in and all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, there's another video on YouTube by the gentleman who owns one of those services, but you can Google, you know, several services. I'm sure that'll, that'll do it for you for a decent price. Like I said, the price I found was like a hundred bucks for one. So there's that all taken out. My dash is in pieces, but you know, you guys seen that wasn't too hard. I've been in the car you know, collectively working on this, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Um, the tools that are going to make your life a whole lot easier are you're going to want one of these little deals and some picks. You can get all that, a Harbor Freight. Oh, and I did mine with, where'd it go? I just did mine with a nut driver. A nut driver and a seven millimeter socket, but to get up under the dash, that little swivel is really nice. So I'm going to send that off, and hopefully, you guys will see this thing put back together. And I'm going to sell it soon after I get that done and make some more content with it. But let me know what you guys think. Subscribe. I really appreciate everybody watching. My channel is getting bigger and bigger by the day, and I can't thank everybody enough. I'm so close to monetization, so if everybody would please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Take care.